If it bleeds, we could kill it. Hey, why don't you let me kill for once? You got to kill your predator in the last movie. Huh, what you gonna do? You gonna kill it by playing the piano to death? Hey man, I've faced monsters before, and you know what? King Kong ain't got on me. You know what, buddy? You're fired. You <laughs> Thanks, Mac. By the way, when can I be in the sequel? Sorry, no sequel for you. Oh, man, kids. What up big kids, here's your big review of the Predators Hot Toys Classic Predator 1 to scale collectible figure. Here we got the awesome box sleeve, has the Predators uh, logo, says Classic Predator, and a cool like little jungle Predator uh, styling, says um, Movie Masterpiece by Hot Toys. Sides of the box has that cool pattern with the Classic Predator logo right there. The back of the box sleeve says Predator, with the cool Predator uh, Picture right there, or pray, classic predator. Warning, you don't want to choke on this ugly mud up. You can actually take off this little box sleeve and it shows the predator right there. He looks very cool. I love that mask, even though it's the broken one. And the back has the predator helmet on there. And a classic predator with all the designers. And you can actually open up this little window and it shows the predator. The inside uh, cover has a picture of the predator figure. Has a little bio about the predators, a new chapter, yada yada yada, like you know, kill me, kill me all. Here's the predator in all his glory. Well, it's hunting season for the predator, so let's open him up. And here we got the predator's Hot Toys classic predator. Definitely another classic to the list. Uh, I really love this figure. Let's take a closer look at him. I freaking love the head sculpt on this. The paint apps are beautiful. Like I said, like the skin texture, the eyes. You can see the inside of the mouth. I'll get to more of this, but his you know, mandibles and the teeth, the paint apps just look sick. I love his little dreads or the rubber hair with very nice paint apps. And this guy is, uh, the reason why they call him Classic Predator and the Predators is obviously he's from the same Predator clan as the one we saw from the first Predator movie. It's not the same Predator, of course, because, spoiler alert, you know, this guy gets beheaded by the Berserker Predator, but uh, it's definitely made to be like his brother or cousin or whatever. Uh, you can see his gun right here. The armor looks really great. This thing I want to point out, unlike the other Hot Toys Predator from Predator, um, it doesn't have the med kit that comes out, so unfortunately, but the armor looks the same. Has some cool bow damage, has the real netting. The paint apps underneath the body look great. Freaking love this thing. Like, all the amount of detail looks so great. I love it. And he has the real metal um, blades. It looks great. The detail on his hand looks awesome. His little loincloth, which is real cloth and plastic right there. And the knitting's there. The hip armor. Predator boot. Oh boy. <laughs> so I love that knitting. Love the um, leg armor right there. And his toes, oh yeah. Oh, he has Fox at the bottom. Sure, Miss Prime loves those toes, them toes, them toes. Love that, very pointy. But yeah, I freaking love the detail on this guy. He looks so freaking killer. Now, if you own the Predator Hot Toys pair like I do, you can definitely notice the differences as well as the similarities. Uh, definitely, I don't know, it's hard to say what... I like one better in one way and one in the other. You can definitely see Hot Toys has definitely improved upon since this one in, in other ways. There, are, there is a little bit more articulation in this, like this has double joint knees and elbows, which I really like. Um, you can definitely see the detail, like they both have the netting. This one I do like the metal blades, which is way better than the plastic ones right here. Uh, you can definitely see the armor pieces and, you know, these are meant to be different characters, but from the same clan, and you can definitely see it. I mean, it's hard because maybe I like this head sculpt a little bit more, but in the body here, you can definitely see like the legs. I mean, it's like I said, it's for people that missed out on this one. This one is a great um, replacement, or you know, to make up for that. And like I said, there's pros and cons to um, like. It's definitely not a re-release, uh, for sure. For articulation, this guy is really articulated. It's on the new Predator's body that we used since the Berserker Predator. I believe it was the Berserker, yeah. So this one, unfortunately, unlike the Predator 
a Hot Toys uh, Predator. This is not as articulated. Well, I mean, the head is on a nice ball joint that goes side to side. Fully rotated, you just have to be careful because the gun, and the gun is articulated too, goes in and out this way. Fully rotate so you can get some really nice position with his uh, shoulder cannon. The arms do fully rotate. The, the little you know shoulder pads are on separate parts and they go in and out that much. There's um, elbow articulation. It's very tight and it rotates at the elbow. It rotates at the wrist as well as go in and out. No ab crunch or anything but he does have full waist articulation. Now the hips do go in and out very nicely. Like that, probably not as much as I would like to do that deep stance he does in the movie. The other one, the other predator could probably do a little better. Where they go forward and back, pretty nice. Now, it does it has the upper leg articulation. He only has one knee joint, unfortunately, and it does it does rotate. Or uh, it does a little bit, but it's very tight. And his ankles fully rotate and they pivot forward and back and does have a little ankle pivot so he does have good articulation really good I do like it a lot and just like other Hot Toys Predators you get two sets of mandibles uh, you got the open ones here and you got the closed ones so you just simply uh, pull them out here as you can see here it looks kind of funny without him so you just simply push him in and he has the closed uh, mouth mandibles looks very cool so if you like the closed mouth you can do it. it looks very sick and now what's also cool unlike previous ones too you actually take these three out and also the bottom jaw which is new and he also comes with his predator mask now this is the broken one that the classic predator had in predators very nice detail you can see the inside cover has actually a lower jaw now this is made to fit easier inside here instead of doing what uh, previous Hot Toys Predators did where you just simply put it over the closed mandible so this stays more on the place you don't have to worry about it falling over see if it fits in nicely. Now this part, this little cord you would hide in here it actually connects to the back right here you would just simply um, put it into that little slide right here this little plug because it has a light up feature so once you plug it in and you hit the switch you have the LED tracking um, laser so I really find that really awesome you know it looks so cool and it just has the little watch batteries you would take in here to change now what's also cool you not just get one mask but you get two this one is supposed to be more of the classic uh, Predator from uh, Predator 1 with the mask not being broken same thing you would just simply remove this one out and then you can place it over to you. so this is for people who miss out on the predator hot toys predator so if you want even though this is from predators if you want the classic predator that's it gives you that look that's really cool the hot toys to do that especially since he didn't have the non-broken mask in the movie just like the broken mask this mask also has an led that you just simply connect the cord to the back here. So I really like the uh, choices in this plane. You can make it two different Predators if you want it. Just like the Predator Hot Toys Predator, the uh, blades here on the wrist do extend. They are nice die cast metal which I like so you won't have to worry about them breaking. And they're very pointy so be very careful. It looks so freaking cool. They don't extend out that much but that's still pretty good. Also on the left wrist you get that little self-destruct and um, sequence like little health monitor as he has very nice little detail in here I like how it opens up now what's really cool that Hot Toys did now like in the movie he has a little uh, earth globe or predator planet globe that goes there and they actually include that what you do you would just simply uh, take this off as you can see here has two little pegs and you actually get this this actually has two separate pieces this little globe which that's some really nice detail. Yeah, you can see it is meant to be Earth and the Moon in here. You just simply snap this on. You can see here it has a little switch underneath here that you flip on. And yes, it glow, glows the little blue LED light. Lights up bright when it's fully in there. So that's really cool. Now besides his fisted hands, he comes with uh, three extra hands for open palm. Very nice detail. Very pointy nails. One is more in this position. I think he's like holding something. And you also get some extra wrist pegs, which is always great to have. And the last accessory you get is this really awesome stand. It's meant to resemble the camp that he was found and the classic predator was captured at by the Berserker Tracker and Falconer Predator. You can see it has nice detail like a skull 
has this other alien school I don't know what it's supposed to be has the adjustable cradle right here came with a separate piece like some animal skin with ribs has some really nice texturing with some real string right here it's just a really cool little diorama piece like everything like the paint and looks just so freaking cool I freaking love this thing so it's a cool little display piece with your predator. It's time to phone home. Um, no, E.T. Leave me alone. It's, it's hunting season. Did you call Elliot? No, I didn't call Elliot. E Come on, E.T. This is a very expensive call. It's international rate. You know, at t it's hard to get reception. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the classic predator is in good scale with other um, Hot Toys figures like the Hot Toys Royce. He is about... 14 inches tall. You can see compared to the uh, Predator Hot Toys Predator, you can definitely see it is also slightly taller just because of the new body and everything. If you're a fan of the original Predator or the Predator's movie, this is definitely the must-have Predator. I really love the Berserker Predator, the Tracker Predator, Falconer, you know, Royce and Nolan are all cool, but this one I think is the central one of the list. Not only is it uh, reminiscent of the original Predator, but if you missed out on the, um, the other Hot Toys original Predator, then you, this is a great uh, replacement for it. I do wish it had that same articulation like the original one, uh, but I do like the new improvements and the detail, and I love that it you know has the metal blades. I love the LED light up globe, you know. Uh, thing it has. I I love the art, you know, everything about it is still so cool. I love the base. I mean, this was such a great deal. This retailed about close to 190 200 bucks when it came out. And to me, that was, it, this is a great deal, especially with the way prices are going. If you could find this for around 200 to 250 even 300 I think it's worth it just because um, the other one goes for even more. And this one, uh, like if if you want the more added articulation in the med kit then if you're willing to pay get that one but this one i think looks awesome you can display it in so many different ways there's so many cool features about it uh, i think it's one of the best predator figures we got in besides the samurai predator and i absolutely love it i highly recommend it for more geek news reviews more check out bkbn.net and don't forget to vote for our best of 2012 awards a link is in the underbar um and check out bkbn.net i'm sean long member so rich him in a big way where does he get those wonderful toys excuse me he was saying he gets them at alteregocomics.com <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre-order, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! I tell you to go! Go down! I got you now, you one ugly mother. Hey, Pinocchio, that's my predator, and that's my line, you son of a bitch. This isn't your predator, it's my predator. Now that's your predator. Mac, did he think that we were the same predator? I think he did, Bob. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, but you both look alike. You saying that we both look alike? That's really racist, man. Um, uh, I think it's time to get to the chopper.